Carlos, you lived that in your baseball career. What's this world like? Oh, it's extremely exciting. You know that if you perform, you will get the call. We've got a developing story here. JP, what are you hearing? I'm checking the numbers. I'm talking to my sources and my scouts, and they're all telling me, hey, this could actually work. Most of us mere mortals, when we were that age, we were barely chewing gum and walking at the same time, let alone playing the hardest game there is. Let's see if he's tough enough mentally here to adapt. That's what good players do. That dream of getting the big leagues is now becoming reality with that one phone call. What? Are you kidding me? This is who we are drafting? You must be crazy. He is a career minor leaguer. He's not a major league player. We wasted a draft pick, a high one at that, here. This is why we don't win. This is a terrible, terrible pick. Oh, my goodness gracious. Come on, fellas. Do your work. Do some research. Awful, awful selection. I hate this pick. We're talking about one of my favorite picks in this year's MLB Amateur Draft, and I'm joined by mental performance coach Kellen Lee. Kellen, what have you heard about this particular prospect? You know, I, when you sent over the list of, of people we're going to talk about, I had to do some extra research on this one. This is a guy that I you know, flew under the radar and I really wasn't as familiar with. Uh, but after doing a little bit more research, uh, talked to some coaches, talked to the people that know him personally, it sounds like he's got some really strong intangibles. Sounds like he was a great teammate as an amateur player. And I would imagine that the organization perhaps did their homework a little bit and found out a little bit about him uh, that other teams didn't because it sounds like he brings a lot to the table on the, on the mental side of the game. And as Yogi Berra famously said, baseball is 90% mental. The other half is physical. Now, math on that aside, Kellen, how much has baseball emphasized mental toughness, mental development in recent years? Yeah, there's been a huge shift in a lot of the organizations and players are turning to the mental side of the game to be just a regular part of player development, all the way from the minor leagues, all the way up to the major leagues. Uh, some of those mental performance skills include building confidence, establishing routines, uh, setting really effective goals, maintaining motivation, visualization, the sky's the limit. But really what we know is that a really solid mental game allows these players to tap into their physical game more consistently. We welcome you inside Oak Street Park. Opening day baseball on the show. It's the Richmond Flying Squirrels and the Bowie Bay Sox. And now, first pitch coming your way next. Bay Sox. Just about set to go now. And towing the slab, Spencer Watkins. Well, because he doesn't have plus stuff, it's going to be critical that his skipper keeps a close eye on it. Second time, third time through the order, we see the OPS jump dramatically. Runner at first with two away. And here's the first baseman, number 11. Number 11. That one blasted deep to right. Way back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. He circles the bases, and they add a pair. It's 2-0. Well, he almost robbed the home run right there, and I tell you what, he'd love another crack at it. During batting practice, you always like to work on that, and so close. 
Next to hit, Stephen Holmes. Batting third, the right fielder, Stephen. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Pitch has popped up. And that'll do it. Here's the center fielder, Michael Gigliotti. Now batting the center fielder, Michael Gigliotti. This one in the air right field. And there's two away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive the it. The batter, number 38. Now it's the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Now batting, right fielder, Stephen Holmes. And fouled off. Number 56 right on third with two out. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Next pitch is outside. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him off. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. The one two just misses with that one really good take especially with two strikes Come on, big guy. Hey, now. swing and a miss and that is that man at first and here's the catcher Brett Auerbach it's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively but runs pretty well so when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Hammer, base hit. So that's two straight, two out hits. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two now, away. He went up there and got it with two strikes. I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where you could get. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the now second down. baseman, Tyler Number Fitzgerald. Seven. It was 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. That one hit to right. Holmes makes the catch, and that'll do it. One down, and now the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Now the right fielder, Stephen. That hits the dirt, and that's ball one. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. Murphy throws the first. Trimble back in on a dive. Come on, big guy. See it, drive it. See it, drive it. The pitch. Swing and a miss. One and two. Now, this guy's definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture hey, that run right from here, first, it feels something. like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. And the righty deals. That one the other get way. Down, get down. It gets down. Base hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. And he might want to keep that ball for a souvenir. It's his first base hit here in double A. For sure. And if he can pick up a bunch more of those, he'll hopefully keep moving up the ranks towards reaching the big leagues. That's the ultimate goal for him at this early point in his career. Here's Jemai Jones. Right here. Trimble on second. Holmes over at first with one away. Bounce to the left side. 
Off balance feed, there's one. Over to first, safe. So that's great hustle out of the box to get down the line, knowing that a double play will end the inning. Good job at the finish, reaching out for the bag. Now they got runners on the corner. Now it's the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. The bat. The right You're going to get something going. This is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. First pitch just misses. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. And he deals. And a swing and a miss there. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Runner at first with no outs here. Hey, try him in. Need you right here. Going to count one and two. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Oh, right to the backstop. Pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Get your pitch, drive it right now. 2 2 now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. And he'll be beating himself up now on the way back, back to the dugout. Pitch. Got a pitch to hit, Jamal. just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Well, his first save of the season is in the books, and that was a nice job of him coming in the game and closing it out. He's off and running now. And your final score, 5-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long. Fans, our final line score. First, for the victorious visiting team, five runs, eight hits, no errors. They left six men on base. For the Bay Sox, two runs on eight hits, no errors. They left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and nine minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely. Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Some double-A baseball coming at you. It's the Richmond Flying Squirrels and the Bowie Bay Sox. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about ready to go. And pitching here today, Kevin Smith. Well, expect to see the ball in play a lot with him on the mound in this one, and that means the defense got to stay on your toes. I think he can help his guys out by working quickly so that guys don't have time for their minds to wander. He's going to try to force weak contact, miss the barrel of the bat. Command and movement is everything for this guy. Now the left fielder, Diego Rincones. Number 38. There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. And that one hops the wall. And he's at third with one away. That's a triple. He hit that ball really well, the deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but you're always happy with an extra base hit. 
So up next, Stephen Holmes. The batting third, the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Hey, you're pinched. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Come on, guy, get your pitch right here. Corey picks over, and he dives back in safely. Trimble over at first with one away. Another throw over, and he's back in that time as well. pitch swing and a miss that is strike two and the pitch got him two away no that's not the best two strike fastball I've seen but certainly got away with the location there you know sometimes as a hitter when you're down in the count you're so focused on a pitcher paint the black and you just get Welcome back. And now the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. For the Bay Sox, the right fielder. First Steve pitch Ray. is in the dirt. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. And a pitch. And Off the mark you. there. Now 2-0. Oh. Hey, your pitch, your pitch. Here comes a pitch. Rip to right, base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Second base hit. Here's Jemai Jones. Nobody out, runner at first. In the air, right field, Labore settles underneath it, brings it in, and there's one away. Now batting, the catcher. And now the switch hitting catcher, Brett Cumberland. Oh, baby, see you driving. Holmes leads off first with one away. Hit hard, base hit. And he beats it, he's safe. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything, really good balance, nice extension, and he met it out front for the line drive knock. First and second, one out. And now the first baseman, number 12. Ball in two strikes. Laced into left. That's a base hit. And that's going to get into the corner. Runner from second scores as they add on. And they're up by three. Not in time. He's got a double. And the batter now, Stephen Holmes. Come on, Chief. One time. Here we go. And the first oh, offering is right. not close. Man on second, two down. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Trimble around third. Now a long throw home. Safe at the plate. It's 10-1. Well done. Drives in the run. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Jemai Jones getting ready to hit. On the ground, right side. That's a hit. 
They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. First and second, two down. And now the catcher comes up to him, Brett Cumberland. That's towards center. Gigliotti under it. And that's the inning. So one out, nobody on. Now Marco Luciano. The batter, number 10. Designated hitter, Marco Luciano. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. That's back there. And off the base of the wall. Pulls into third safely with a triple. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. Here's the second baseman, Tyler Fitzgerald. He's 0 for 1. Kicks and fires. High in the air, out to right. Holmes drifts towards it, makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. One out, base is empty. Stephen Holmes will hit next. Now batting, right field. Part of the order coming through Steve now, Bay. and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. And he swings and misses, and it's oh nothing at all. Well, he threw that fastball right by him. Gives him a little bit of confidence, but in the back of your mind, you got to think, is he trying to set me up for later in this at bat? The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes. Two gone. Man at first. Now it's the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. The, best, the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Go, baby, square it up. First offering misses the mark. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit, so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. There's the strike. Hey, let her rip, let her rip. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Well, he went inside a couple of times and now outside. Hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. The one, two. Oh, and now a wild pitch. And an excellent job keeping it right there. You can do it. No and a pitch. Let's go. Left field. Rincones sizes this one up. One down. The bat. The second baseman. This one was pretty much decided in the third inning. From that point on, all they had to do was play fundamentally sound baseball to secure the win. And they did just that. And your final, 11 to 3. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chum. Talk to you soon. Here now is our final line score. First for the victorious base on 11 runs, 15 hits. No error. They left 10 men on base. For the visitors, three runs, five hits. No error. They left nine runners on base. Time of ball game, three hours and 38 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.
And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Richmond Flying Squirrels and the Bowie Bay Sox. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set. Starting on the mound in this one, Drew Rom. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Steven Holmes now at the plate. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. First pitch, and he just misses. Hey, see you to rip it up there. Righty delivers. There's a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. A wide to kick the pitch. And a foul ball. One and two now. And the one two misses to even the count. Here's a two two. Swang and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. You can't cool. do much better than that on a Second pitch that far outside of the strike zone. Got him in a chase on the two strike count, but he wasn't fooled. He hit that ball really well. So two down. Here's Jemai Jones. Next pitch has popped up. Tracks it down for the out. That is the third out of the inning. Through an inning, no score here on the show. So two away with nobody on. And now the right fielder, Franklin Labour. Hit it well, but the flied right out to the deepest part right of the field. outfield his first Labor. time. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. That to right. Holmes settles under this one. And the inning is over. So 12 up, 12 down to begin the ball game. On now to the bottom of the fourth. We're tied, nothing, nothing. So digging in, Stephen Holmes. Now batting, right fielder, Stephen Holmes. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And here it comes. Hey. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Hey, come on now. Ball to strike. Big swing and a miss with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Stays alive. Hey, your pitch, your pitch. One, two now. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. One away. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough and now played back. right Second into the hands of the pitcher. So two on with two away. Stephen Holmes. 
Jones, now the next to hit. Right fielder. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Westberg, the runner at third. Trimble on at first with two down. Hey, hit me a seed right here. Next offering upstairs. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball, he stays alive. His eyes got big. He saw that changeup way out in front. Better to pull it than to get jammed on something off speed like that. And another ball. Clearly didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. Two outs. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Runner from third comes across. It's 2 nothing. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. So first and second with two outs. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Jemai Jones. And the right-hander deals. And a bunt towards third. To first, that ends the frame. So first and second with one man gone. Now it's the right fielder, Steven Holmes. Steven. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. One out. Runners at first and second. Flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. At the belt and fires. Belt. And now it's even up. Two balls, two strikes. Hey, let it fly, let it fly right here. And a pitch. That one to first. Boots it. But plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. Well, that was clearly a double play ball, but the bobble unfortunately yeah, prevented him from being able to get two. But a good job Come to stay on. with it and make sure you got at least one. Ready to begin the eighth, and now the right fielder, Franklin Labour. Leading it off, the right fielder, Franklin. Labour. The wind of the pitch, and that one is lifted in the air. Holmes puts it away, and there's one away. The batter, number 11. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, go, Michael Gigliotti. Now batting, the center hey, fielder, Michael Gigliotti. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there, on its way, gone. He sends it out of here. And they add to the lead. It's 10-5. High fastballs, especially with good velocity, can be 
really hard to catch up to, but he stays tall. His top hand works extremely well, and he absolutely clobbered it. Runner at first with two away. Now it's the right fielder, Franklin Labour. Right fielder, number 13, Franklin Labour. Lifted in the air, right field. Holmes under it and puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. Back here at the ballpark, last chance for the home team. And now the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. The, the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Hey, get a good one. Get a good piece on it, huh? The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Home plate umpire is trying to tighten things up a little bit. And the righty deals. Fought off foul. Let it fly. Let's go. Trust your stuff right here. Let it fly. And a 1-1. And he pumps it a strike. Come on, guy, get your pitch up there. Right hander kicks deals. And now the count is on, even. Wow, that's a tough pitch to lay off. Three two now. Right-handed reliever, and that's ball four. Pretty good pitch on 3-2, right around the knees, but just no help from the umpire. Man at first, now it's the second baseman, Jemai Jones. But when a leadoff man gets on, you want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. And he walked him. And here's the first baseman, number 12. Is this redemption for my soul? Holmes, the lead runner at second. Jones at first with no outs. Tap softly third base side, a swinging bunt. Tags the runner for one, and it's a double play. The catcher, number 28. Rick. Well, the goal when you go on the road is to at least play 500 ball. Well, they've been winning series. They win this one here. And you got yourself a little bit of breathing room, but you want to keep the same mindset. Let's go into the next place, and let's take that series again. And your final 10 to 5. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. Fans, our final line score. First for the victorious visiting team, 10 runs on eight hits. No errors, they left two men on base. For the Bay Sox, five runs, 13 hits, one error, they left 16 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 55 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely. A double A hitting coach touches base with a new arrival to the team. Jonathan, he's shown us what he can do against pitchers' mistakes at this level. As he rises up the ladder towards the majors, those mistake pitches are going to get fewer and farther between maybe one or two per week even.
Yeah, especially if you're a star, you get pitched around more and more. He's already starting to see some of that at the minor league level because he is maybe the best hitter on on his team, especially with the way he's been swinging the bat right now. So it's taking advantage of those opportunities, learning when to expand the zone a little bit without getting out of your approach. So if you see a pitch that you know you can drive, you you don't miss it. Uh, you know this is such a game of failure. You know if if you go one out of three. You're a Hall of Fame player. That means you're failing 67% of the time. He seems to understand that. So even if it's a 4-for-4 four four game, if it's an 0-for-4 oh game, he's the same guy when he gets to the ballpark the next day. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Double A baseball on the show coming your way. It's the Bowie Bay Sox and the Binghamton Rumble Ponies. And now, and we'll be back with the first Binghamton pitch right after this. Rumble Ponies. Just about set to go now and towing the slab in this one, Tony DeBrill. What do you have on him? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Steven Holmes stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. Tap dances out of the way of that one. Here you go, let it go. Stays alive. Got him looking, and that'll do it. End of a half inning of play, so it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. So two down now, and here is Stephen Holmes. Struck out looking in his first Steven. at bat. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. Kicks and deals. Aye. In the air, right field, number 11, moving under it. Drops into the glove, and that ends the inning. So 12 up, 12 down to begin the ball game. To the bottom of inning number four now. We're tied, nothing, nothing. And welcome back. Top of inning number seven. And now, Stephen Holmes. The right fielder. Stephen Holmes. DeBrill back to work. Pitch misses. And that's ball one. Righty delivers. Out there to center. Number 21 has this one sized up. And there's one down. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third now or fourth batting. pitch of Second just about base. every at bat. Jemai Jones. Now it's the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Now batting, right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Oh. 
up the middle, dive, and he's got it. Newt to Out. second. What a double play that was. Inning over. Well, his first save of the season is in the books, and that was a nice job of him coming in the game and closing it out. He's off and running now. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. Here now is our final line score. First for the victorious Mesa's, two runs on three hits, one error. They left three men on base. For Binghamton, one run, eight hits, no errors. They left 12 men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 34 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely. Welcome to the porch. Minor League Baseball from the AA level coming up. It's the Bowie Bay Sox and the Binghamton Rumble Ponies. First pitch coming your way next. I'm focused, I'm in tune, I'm plotting my next. Just about to get started, and on the hill, the big righty, Antonio Santos. Four-pitch guy, he's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here, and whether or not he's able to mix them all hurt. in early, or if he right wants field. to hold something back Defense. a little bit later, maybe second, third oh. time through the order, and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket as a hitter. Runner takes off, pitch misses, throw to second, ow! Usually when you see a team try to steal a base in the early innings, it tells you they want to be aggressive on offense, try to force the defense to make plays and slow them down. That's exactly what they did right there. So we'll see if that caught stealing changes the offensive approach moving forward. No score just getting started, top of the first. The next pitch misses, ball two. And that clips the inside corner. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Hey, let it rip right Two here. and one now. Get two pins right here. Quick. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Two down, nobody on. 
And a swing and a miss. And that's that. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. And now the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. See it, drive it. Let's Got go. a right throwback. Right no fielder. batting gloves. Stephen Holmes. Oh, pitch up there. Let's go, kid. Ball and the one. first pitch misses for ball no, one. Hey, have a rip at it up there, huh? And he deals. And that one fouled off. The wind and the pitch. That's ball two. And that one handled. Gets it to first. That's out number three. Hey, let it rip. All time. set for the start of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Leading off for Bowie, the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Here we go. And the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Get your pitch, drive it right here. And here we go. Come on now, one time. The pitch. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. They can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. And he chases that one. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. He came out of his mechanics there. Now Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. And here is Stephen Holmes. Go. Let it fly right here. Now batting, right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Hey, drop him in. No one better right here. Hey. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take. Gets a head and a count. Oh. Next pitch misses, and one and one. And now the lefty, a little out front the there as he swings out. through it. Hey, Trimble, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Cut on and miss, struck him out. Two down. Third time he struck out in this one, and now definitely that. an individual performance day. you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. Sometimes road trips can be tough. You're away from your family, but when you can win, silence that opposing crowd. It makes things just a little bit better. It makes the road trip just a little bit shorter. Two nothing, your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long. Here now is our final line score. First for the victorious Bay Sox. Two runs, seven hits, two errors. They left 15 men on base. For Binghamton, no runs, four hits, one error, and 11 runners left on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 23 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Some double-A baseball coming at you. It's the Bowie Bay Sox and the Binghamton Rumble Ponies. And now, yo, Binghamton. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, just about set to go. 
getting the nod in this one, Matthew Allen. A very forgettable start his last time out. Was only able to work a couple of innings. We're looking for him to put it all together today. Command, tempo, and just really a confident presence out there on the mound. Base is empty with two away. And now the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. The right fielder. He's got pop, Even. which is a little sneaky oh. because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. Center field, number 21, moving under this one. And that will end the inning. End of a half inning of play. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one, no score. Bottom of the first. Now it's the shortstop, number 62. Leading up for the Mets, the shortstop, number 62. And a payoff pitch. High fly ball, right field. Holmes should have this one. Puts the squeeze on that one. One away. Batting second, the third baseman, number four. First and second, two down. Stepping in, number 21. I mean, these guys know they have to get going out of the gates, but you're not going to hear a skipper. You're not going to hear people really say that. Swings and sends a rocket to right. Holmes makes the catch, and that'll do it. An inning in the books tonight, and we're scoreless here on the show. Now it's the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Hey, get now your pitch batting. up there. Let's go, right baby. Right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Let her rip. Here we go. Hey, get your pitch. Make it happen right now, huh, kid? Hey, let her fly, kid. Let her fly. Swings through that one, 0 oh and 1. That's one of those swing now before the pitchers even let go of the baseball. Trimble, the runner at first with two gone. That one missed. Wait for your pitch up there, huh? The pitch. That's a Swing and a miss. Count. And the one, count two, is one and two. Here we go, kid. Here we go. Let's go, Peter. Allen throws Three. over, and he's back in safely. Let's go, kid. One time right here. Next one off the plate inside. And the count is even two and two. The pitch. Into center. That is the inning. Top of the sixth inning, and now the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. The right fielder, Stephen. Let rip up there. Let's go. Oh. I see it. Drive it. Let's go. And a pitch. Ball and one. takes low for ball one. Kicks and fires. There's a strike. A 
and it's even up. Hey, see it and rip it up there, kids. See it and rip it. Hard hit left side, and that's a fair ball. Man aboard on the leadoff single. The throw into second. Tag got it, and he can't scramble back in time. Wait. Two outs, runner at first. Here's the catcher, Francisco Alvarez. Francisco Alvarez. Hit in the air, right field. He makes the grab, and that is the inning. So one gone with a runner at third. Now it's the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Right fielder. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring Cole. position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's Let's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Runner tags from third. In comes the run from third to add on. It's three zip. That wasn't the your batter. standard sack fly. He baseball. barreled that baseball. Just couldn't get it to drop in. Yeah. Now here is number four. Now number four. Fly ball down the line, and that is the ball game. Well, you win this one four to nothing, and it feels like you could have exploded for more offensively, but you also realize that at times it was hard to score. So you get out of here feeling good about this win. Ultimately, there was great pitching and defense to keep that other team off the board. You always feel good about a win like this. A four nothing shutout in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shomby. We'll see you soon. Four runs on eight hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. For Binghamton, no runs, eight hits, no errors. They left 14 men on base. Time of the ball game: two hours and 33 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight, and we remind you to please drive home safely. Baseball fans and welcome. We've got baseball coming up for Jackie Robinson Jay. It's the Bowie Bay Sox and the Binghamton Rumble Ponies. First pitch coming at you right after the break. And now, your Binghamton Rumble Ponies. Just about set to go. And on the mound today, Cole Gordon. Yeah, he was a tough luck loser last time out, dominating his opponent. Soft contact, they were able to score a couple of runs. But outside of that, everything was sharp. You hope that he gets a better result this time out. Reward the guy for his hard work. Steven Holmes. Steven Holmes takes a ball here as he stands in now. and it's one and one. Sometimes being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. Next offering is in for a strike. And a ball evens the count. Trimble stands at first with one out. Runner on the move. Ball misses. The throw, tag, and he's out. You know, I always felt as a base runner, base stealer, that you know, if you can get in that first, second, maybe third pitch, get your jump and steal second base, you had a much better chance of being successful. As it gets deeper into that at bat and those pitches rack up, you almost get a little more flat-footed, and you've got to be sharp to get that jump and to beat a good throw down to second base. Just wasn't able to do it right there. Swings and misses, and good work there as he gets a one, two, three. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. One down. And now the center fielder, Quinn Brody. 
batting fifth. I mean, these guys know they have to get going out of the gates, but you're not going to hear a skipper. You're not going to hear people really say that. In the air, right side, Holmes sizing this one up, makes the catch, and there's two down. Lefties can definitely be a little pull happy up there, especially with pitches that they the see pretty well. That was a good example. He hooked it outside. So up next, number 42. Batting gun. No left fielder. Number 42. The 1-1. Lifted in the air, right center field. Holmes, long run into the gap. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Now batting, number 42. Stephen Holmes getting ready to hit. Kind of a throwback. Right no right batting through. gloves. Stephen Holmes. And that's in there for strike one. And a strike in there. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Gets the out, two down after the strikeout. Now batting, catcher, Brett Cumberland. Two outs, bases full, and now it's Mark Vientos. Now batting. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Now this is in the air down the line. Can't get there, base hit. The run comes in to score from second, and they take a two-run lead. Another comes in to score, and they lead by three. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance, and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Two outs, nobody on. And yeah, the batter now, Luke Ritter. Now batter, the second baseman, Luke Ritter. The 2 Fly ball to right. A little bloop single. And that keeps the inning alive. With the way defenders track down now balls batting. these days, Decker. I mean, both from the infield Chief and in the outfield, there really aren't a now lot of base out. hits on balls hit like that. But and now the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Now batting. The right fielder. If you're going to get something going, Steven. this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff oh. man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. You'll want. And there's a ball. One and one. Come on, big guy. You got this. Line drive. Puts it away for the out. Now batting. Catcher. Brett Cumberland. So two down. Here's the second baseman, Luke Ritter. Now batting. Second baseman. Luke Here comes a pitch. That one out to right. Holmes settles underneath it and makes the grab. And that'll do it. Well, these guys just hadn't been playing fundamentally sound baseball, but today they put it together. This should start them rolling now. You have to pay attention to the details. If you do that with good pitching, good defense, you will win most of your ball games. Six nothing is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. Our final line score, first for the victorious Binghamton Rumble Pony. Six runs, nine hits. No errors, they left nine runners on base. For the base side, no runs, four hits, no errors, they left four men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 53 minutes.
thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Double A baseball on the show, coming your way. It's the Bowie Bay Sox and the Binghamton Rumble Ponies. And now, your Binghamton. First pitch coming your way next. Rumble Ponies. So, almost ready to get underway. And today's starting pitcher, Josh Walker. He may not dominate, but he always keeps the club in the game. If you can score runs, you have a really good chance to win with him on the mound today. One out, runner at second. Now it's the right fielder, Stephen Cole. Right Stephen Cole. This one in the dirt, no advance, good job behind the dish. Right now the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. And a pitch. Just nope. missed. Hitter's yeah, got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. At the belt and fires. Wouldn't chase that time. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here with the middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. Now, this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. Here's Jemai Jones. Had the day off yesterday. Next pitch has popped up, and the infield fly is called. That is it. The first baseman. Number 12. So two on with two away. Number 12 digs in now. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone. Got him. That's the third out. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. can't understand why they all me. I'm crazy. Don't get involved with me. I drop the top and feel this autumn breeze. You need gas till we can be all on E. Oh, I get it. Man in scoring position with two away. Now at the plate, Stephen Holmes. Right oh, big dog right here. One time. Oh. Hey, drive that pitch, huh? Here you go. In there, and it's 0-1. When you're struggling out there on the mound, hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at-bat to try to get something to hit hard. Two outs. Two outs, and one in scoring position. Swing and a miss, and it's one and two. Hey, 
got it. No one better. Here we go. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. And now, number 21. Batting fifth. The center fielder, number 21. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And it hits the base of the wall. Relay throw home. Not in time. He's safe at the plate. And it's now a two-run game. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it, and it carries over, but that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. And now the right fielder, Quinn Brody. Now batting the right fielder. Where? Number 21 leads Brody. off first with two down to the inning. In the air, fairly deep to right field. High bounce takes it over the fence. That's an automatic double. I'm sure he's happy with the automatic double, but you know he's wondering if it cost him. Now it's the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Right fielder, Stephen Holmes. First offering misses the mark. Come on, big guy, one time. Here you go. And he dodges that fastball. Straighten him up a little bit. Hey, let her fly. Let her fly right here. On the ground to the left. Throw off line. He's safe. And a nice job there to keep it from getting away. Well, Boog, it can be tough to get a good grip on the baseball when it's cold Jones. outside. And that's definitely the case right now here in the ballpark. It could have been something else, but I definitely know that feeling when your fingertips are numb and you really can't feel the baseball. Now it's going to be Jemai Jones. Let's go, Binghamton. There you go, left fly. And a pitch. To first, might be two. Off balance B, here's one. Back to first, double play. And that's it for the inning. Jalen Palmer now at the plate. The left fielder, number nine. Popped up. Jones under this one. Makes the play, and it's out number three. And now the right fielder, Stephen Holmes, for the fourth time tonight. Stephen Holmes. Hey, see it up in time. And first offering is fouled off. Westberg on, leads man. off first with one away. Popped up right side. Newt racing over to make the catch. Now batting the second baseman, Jemai Jones. Runner at first with two away. Now it's the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Come on, baby. Get your pitch up there. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. Well, I'm not sure you could say he fooled him with that first pitch changeup, but it did have him out on that front foot just enough. Well, I'll be interested to see how he adjusts on this next pitch. That one pushed foul. Hey, let her rip, let her rip. And here it comes. 
the punch out there, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. Sometimes it takes just getting away from home. Guys can sort of come together, connect a little bit more than they do when they're at home with their families, and that can breed to success on the field, as we saw in this game today. Excellent win by this team. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shami. Thanks for joining us. Here now is our final line score. First for the victorious base offs, five runs, 10 hits, no errors. They left 11 men on base. For Binghamton, one run on six hits, one error. They left eight runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 56 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Minor League Baseball from the AA level coming up. It's the Bowie Bay Sox and the Binghamton Rumble Ponies. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. Look at me, look at me, not measuring up how I want to be. Please with small things and downgrades that they had to be new to me. Sold out shows on the rose. About to get started here. And on the mound in this one, Tony DeBrill. A really good outing for him last time. Scattered two runs, was attacking hitters, getting ahead in the count. Great performance. We'll see if he can do it again in this one. So digging in, Stephen Holmes. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And that's down it away. One and one. Let her rip right here. Swing and a miss. One ball, two, now one and two. Kelly just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Got him looking. And that's the first out. So one out, nobody on. Now, Stephen Holmes. Now he was a strikeout right victim his first time. Steven. And he swings and misses, and it's oh nothing in one. Count. Fooled on that pitch, got a little anxious. Next nope. one misses, uh, and now it's even one out. and one. And another ball. This one popped up, right side. Racing makes the catch. And there's two away. Now batting, the second baseman, Jemai Jones. Stephen Holmes, the next to hit. Now batting, the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Hey, grip it and rip it, kid, grip it and rip it. First pitch, oh, just down. misses. Oh, come on, up. What are you doing? Kicks and deals. And yeah, that's outside. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. 2-0. Swing and a pop-up. And yeah, there's two away. Now batting. Second baseman, Jemai Jones. Two gone with runners at the corners. At the play, Stephen the Holmes. The right fielder. Stephen. In one time right now. Oh. Campos over to first. Back standing. He's in there safely. Oh. 
Swings through that one. 0 oh, and 1. Just completely fool on the breaking ball right there. Had no chance. Next offering is down low. Corners are occupied with two down. On the ground to third. And that is that. Ladies and gentlemen, Two on, one out. Stephen Holmes will hit next. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Pug, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. That one's in there, 0 and 1. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Watch right here. You go. Hey, come on, big guy. Driving those runs. Righty to the plate. This is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game, but they're going to make him work to get this save. Hey, your turn now. Your turn. Drive him in. Clutch up for us, baby. Swings and misses, and it's one and two. Fitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Next pitch inside, full count three and two. And that one fouled off. Runners at first and second with one gone. And there's Paul Ford. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their way off. So bases loaded with one away. Here's Jemai Jones. So the tying run at second. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Huge strikeout there. Got to give him a huge amount of credit on the mound right there. Got squeezed a little bit on the pitch right before that one. You know it should have been a strike. Everyone in the building knew that it should have been a strike, but he didn't let it get to him and throw him off his game. Came back with another good pitch for the punch out with the bases loaded. That's good pitching right there. Base hit, one run in already. Ball comes in, runner stops at third. Base is still loaded with two out. He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where you could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there, coming back in that at bat. Hudson Haskin getting ready to hit. Hey, keep it going up there. Clutch up. You're next. Hey, get your pitch. No one better up there. Hey, I need you right here. Let's go. Your turn. Drive him in, kid. Let's go. Now fly ball to right center. Number 21 as he glides to his left. And that'll do it. You can still feel the energy in this ballpark. What a great finish. Everyone on their feet looking for that pitcher to get the final out. They strand the tying run at third. The go-ahead run was at second base. A lot of pressure, but they were able to pull it out. Nice W. And the final score here, 4-3. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long. First for the victorious Binghamton Rumble Party. Four runs on nine hits, two errors. They left 11 men on base. For the base off, three runs on eight hits, no errors. They left 15 runners on base. I never will remember your name. We fight fire with fire. Would you call me a liar if I told you that I wasn't afraid? Sweet as sweat, are you feeling it, JJ? In the professional ranks, players have to develop not just on the field, but in the weight room as well.
Minor League Manager Rachel Balkovec joins me. Rachel, how important is it for players to make that progress in their off-the-field training and conditioning? It is absolutely crucial. And I think that more and more, you know, when I first got in the game in 2012, it was relatively new. But now we're talking about if, if you're not doing it, you're behind. So every single it's hard to believe but every single player is lifting two times a week in season at least and that's that's through playing you know six seven days a week they're still lifting before the games which i i don't think a lot of people understand True. you know how consistent they are and and how much that helps them to keep their energy levels up throughout the season a player new to his double a squad gets a tip from one of his coaches A coach admonishes a hitter about pitch selection. A player who lacks plate discipline will likely get dismantled by top-notch major league pitching. Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Some double-A baseball coming at you. It's the Akron Rubber Ducks and the Bowie Bay Sox. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to roll. And on the hill today, Cody Sedlock. What do you got on him, Chris? Uh, he's off to a good start, getting a win in his first start of the season. And so lifted a little bit of pressure. Right here, it's all about getting win number two. Man at first with one gone. And now the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. First pitch, not close. Trimble at first, one gone. This one in the air, center field. Green on the move. Pulls it in, two away. Batting four. The second baseman. So up next, Will Benson. That is fifth. The right fielder, Will Benson. Here's the 0-2. Out towards right center field. Holmes makes the catch, and there's one away. That is fifth. The designated hitter, Aaron Groucho. One out, base is empty. Stephen Holmes now digs in now. The right fielder, Stephen Holmes. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Oh and one. Hey, need you right here one time. Swing and a miss. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Next pitch inside, one and two to count. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Here we go now. Come on now, one time. Next offering misses. Two balls, two strikes. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. On, Just buddy. spit on it. That's to third. Whips it to first. And there's two down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball no, out of the air. Let's the defense base. work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Joe. 
Welcome back. Here's a speed threat. Richie Palacios. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Ripped to the right center. Base hit. Now he'll turn for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. And a great start to the inning. A leadoff triple puts the tying run at third. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count. Up against it with two strikes right there. Just a beautiful triple from start to finish. Got a pitch he could drive. So a runner at third, two men out. Bo Naylor at the plate now. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. And that's the third out. So two away with nobody on. Now it's the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. The right fielder, Stephen. Wings here and blast one left field. And it slams off the bottom of the wall. Tennis relay to second, and he's there with a double. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. Here's Jemai Jones. Hey, let her rip. One side. Holmes at second with two down. Next pitch has popped up. Tenna drifts towards it. Puts the squeeze on it. And that is that. Come on, baby. Two outs, base is empty. And here is Stephen Holmes. Now batting, right fielder, Stephen Holmes. And that's in there for strike one. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just got to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Well, this one was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the guy standing behind him to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these guys did on the mound today. The final one to nothing for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Schaumann. We'll see you line line soon. First for the victorious base off. One run on six hits, no error. They left eight men on base. For the Rubber Ducks, no run, five hits, no error. They left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 20 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely. Welcome you inside Oak Street Park. Double A baseball on the show coming your way. It's the Akron Rubber Ducks and the Bowie Bay Sox. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Man's just waiting. One more in So just about set now. And on the hill, Spencer Watkins. Chris, he's looking for a bounce back this season. Yeah, really struggled last year, and it was one of those seasons that you just want to flush. But 
I think you have to remember and take the opportunity when you do struggle to really look yourself in the mirror, identify what went wrong, and make improvements. And I have no doubt that that's what this guy did in the offseason to prepare himself to come back and to be one of the best bounce-back players in the league. We'll see today. They'll have a real opportunity to prove a lot of people wrong. Stephen Holmes takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Now, down on strikes, and he knew it. An inning in the books. No score here on the show. One out, bases loaded. And now the right fielder, Will Benson. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Will Benson. Righty delivers. This one in the air, right field. Holmes giving chase. Hops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. As two runs score on the play. You don't want to get greedy, but it's easy to imagine all three runners coming home to score with this type of contact. Yeah, the automatic double costs them a run, but they're still in a position to keep scoring. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Isaiah Green. Number 27 on third. Number 89 on at second with two down. Hey, no one better. Make your pick. In the air, right field. Holmes on the move as he glides back and puts the squeeze on that. And that is that. Nine men come to the plate for score. Next is the speedy first baseman, number 13. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Holmes makes his way towards it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Now batting the second baseman, Richie Palacios. Two outs, runner at first. Jonathan Lopez now at the plate. In the air, right field. Holmes settles under it. He's got it. And that is out number three. Stephen Holmes, the next to hit. Now batting, right fielder. Oh. Here we go. In there for strike one. Backdoored him with a breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. The nope. next offering misses. And the count even one and right. one. Rudder at first with no outs here. Hey, get your pitch and drive it right here. That one fouled off. Here we go now. Come on now. One time. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one out now. And stepping in is the speedy Richie now Palacios. The second baseman. Richie Palacios. And that's a base hit. And that's a double. Now batting. Third base. So two down now. And here is number 27. I mean, these guys know they have to get going out of the gates. But you're not going to hear a skipper. You're not going to hear people really say that. High in the air, out to right. Holmes makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. The Bay the Sox right in striking Steven. distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. 
Tully back to work. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Hey, let it rip one time. The pitch. There's the strike. Because this game's hard enough, and you know, you try to minimize the pressure that you put on yourself or that you take in from outside. So, you know, sticking to the plan, the process every day, coming in, doing your work, uh, making the adjustments you need to make, and just focusing on the task at hand that day. And the pitch. Got him looking. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. The second baseman. And welcome back. And now here is Stephen Holmes. Leading off for the base off. The right fielder. Stephen Holmes. A wind in the pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. A wind to kick the pitch. That one hit to right. Pace hit as he pulls up short. Here's Jemai Jones. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. And a swing and a miss. And there's one down. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting a call. He probably should have got it. He didn't let it affect his focus. And he came back with another good pitch to get him swing. Now the switch hitting catcher, Brett Bumberland. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. Right-handed reliever. This to center field. Green in position. He's got it, and there's two away. Now batting. Number 12. And now the first baseman, number 12. He's hit for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. And the right-hander deals. Swing, get a ball popped up. And that is that. Here's the shortstop at the play. Jose Tena. Now batting the shortstop. Jose. Green stands at second with two gone. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Green coming home. He scores. It's 10-3. Pulls into second. That's an RBI double. Picks himself up an RBI. Nice line drive the to the pull side. Number met it out 15. front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Well, a real nice performance out of the pen. This guy is not the one who usually gets the final out, but extended his role a little bit and helped his team get the win. He got the save. Nice job. And your final, 11-3. to three. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. You're now our... player is addressed about a troubling trend in his plate performance of late. The coach advocates a more disciplined approach.
Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Minor League Baseball from the AA level coming up. It's the Akron Rubber Ducks and the Bowie Bay Sox. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. So, almost ready to get underway. Today's starting pitcher, Kevin Smith. Chris, how about a scouting report? Well, he doesn't have overpowering stuff, so it's important that he finds his rhythm early. I think the easiest thing for him is to trust that catcher. Catcher's been in the league a that long time. Good. He knows these the hitters. Whatever fingers he puts he down, did. you nod the head oh. and you throw that pitch. offering popped in the air right field call makes the catch and that'll do it through an inning no score here on the show hey, and here's the first now. baseman number 13 Come on, batting eight the first baseman number 13 high fly ball right field Holmes on his way over that's out number two. Batting nine. The catcher. Number 26. One down. And yeah, the batter now, Stephen Holmes. The batter. The right fielder. Stephen Holmes. First offering misses the mark. Big dog, get your pitch. Yeah, the right hander deals. Yeah. Now one and one. Oh. Next offering misses down and away. Lifted in the air, right center field. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch to play. The I don't know how the he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So some pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on One gone runner at first. Here's Jemai Jones. He's 0 for 1. Hey, let it rip. Let it rip. On the ground to third. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Back to back base hits. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Two on, one out. And now the first baseman, number 12. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. And a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two out. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting the call. He probably should have got it. Didn't let it affect his focus. And he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. And now, Brett Cumberland, 0 for 1 so far. Holmes, the lead runner at second. Jones, on at first with two down. Out to short, lays out. Oh, it's off his glove. No throw, and the bases are now loaded. Well, a big swing of the bat right there. Spoiled that backdoor breaking ball perfectly. Stayed tall, didn't the lean out towards it, let it get deep, and then just squared it up pretty nicely the opposite way. That's great hitting. Next is the designated hitter, Hudson Haskin. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. Bases loaded, two down. Runner, runner, runner. That one out to right, call under it. Drops into the glove, 
And that is the third out of the inning. Huge opportunity missed there. We played four. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. So bases loaded with one away. And now the right fielder, now Stephen right Holmes. Stephen Holmes. All right, let's go. Come on, this is you. This is you. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is it's a base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Come on, baby, square it up. And he deals. Pulls that one foul. And a 1-1. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. The pitch. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Squeezes it. Runner tags for home. Throw is offline, and he scores. And it's 1-0. Well, we finally have a score in this ball game. Sack fly, nice job of manufacturing a run, and that could end up being a big run at this rate. Next is the speedy first baseman, number 13. Now batting, number 13. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. That's back. Makes the catch up against the wall. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like now we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah. Just Runner at first with two away. Now it's the right fielder, Steven right Holmes. One for two. In there, and it's 0-1. And the righty deals. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Trimble off of first with two away. Pitch misses, and a count one and two. See how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. And that is that. Well, this one was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the guy standing behind him to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these guys did on the mound today. The final one to nothing for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi saying so long. First for the victorious face-off, one run on 12 hits. No errors, they left 11 men on base. For the Rubber Ducks, no runs, just one hit. No errors, and they left one man on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 20 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Some double-A baseball coming at you. It's the Akron Rubber Ducks and the Bowie Bay Sox. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about ready to roll here. 
And pitching here today, Drew Rom. Very dominant his last time out, picked up the win, only allowed one run. These guys would love to see him back on his game in this one. And now the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. That is good. Pop, the right which is field. a little sneaky because Steven. he's so comfortable oh. with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. That one's in there on one. Hey, what pitch? Make Two down, one. nobody on. And it's even up. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0-2 count. Instead, it's 1-1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. Hey, find something you like up there. Let's go. Wait for the pitch. Kicks and fires. And that one is lifted in the air. Number 27 settles under it. And that is that. End of one. And we're still scoreless. So up next, Stephen Holmes. Kind of a throwback. Now back, no batting right gloves. Stephen Holmes. And let it rip, let it rip. First offering one, misses no badly for ball one. Hey, let it fly up there, huh? And here it comes. And there's a foul ball. Let it fly. Let's go. Trust your stuff right here. Let it fly. Cantillo picks the first. Hey. Ortiz dives back in safely. Another move to first. No, he's and he's back again. Drive it deep. Here we go, baby. Here we go now. Come on now. One time. Here's a one two. And a ball Good evens ball. the count. Hey, have a rip. Play the can. Here you go. And a pitch. On the ground is short, could be two. Off balance feed, there's one. Double play, and that'll do it for the inning. Here's the catcher to hit, Bo Naylor. Went down on strikes his first time through. Catcher. He's hitting for oh. that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. He's a one-two. In the air, right field. Holmes in position. He's got it. And that is out number three. New inning getting started. Now it's the second baseman, Aaron Bracho. For Akron, the second baseman, Aaron Bracho. And a three-two. This one in the air, right field. Puts it away for the out. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within now the third or fourth pitch of right just about field. every at-bat. Alex. Back here at the ballpark. Well, we go bottom six. Leading off, Stephen Leading Holmes. Off for the base off. The right fielder, Stephen Holmes. The pitch. Right there. And first offering is fouled off. Hey, let her fly. Let her fly right here. The pitch. And now it's even up. That one missed. Hey, get 
the 2 1. And that one fouled off. Inside three and two the count. And the pitch. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. Here's Jemai Jones. Runner at first with no outs here. Hit on the ground, might be two. Takes it himself for one, and they get him easily at first. It's a double play. Well, the reliever now comes in, him. takes care double of that inherited play. runner, gets that ground ball double play, and now he can work on one more guy to get back in the dugout. Welcome back. And here's the first baseman, no number 13. For the Rubber Ducks the in striking baseman. distance, number but have 13. some work to do. Boog, it starts with the late off, man. Need a good at bat out of him right here. And that one is lifted in the air. Holmes makes the catch, and there's one down. Now batting, shortstop, Jose Tenno. Runners on the corners with one gone. And now it's going to be Steven Holmes. Right and Boog, I'd say he's Steven. due. Come on, let one fly here. Let's go. Pitch misses inside, ball one. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. The man up there. Make something happen McKenna at third. Ortiz over at first with one away. One time, right now. Here we go. Next pitch misses, two and one. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on, probably a challenge pitch coming. Two on, one out. That's hard hit in the line. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. Runner tagging from third. In to score is the runner from third, and it's 4 nothing. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one. 6-1 is your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. Here now is our final line score. First for the victorious base off. Six runs, eight hits, one error. They left six men on base. For the Rubber Ducks, one run on six hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and eight minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely. Welcome you inside Oak Street Park. Double A baseball on the show coming your way.
It's the Akron Rubber Ducks and the Bowie Bay Sox. And now, first pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go. And starting this one, Mike Bauman. Chris, what are you looking for from him? Well, the key for him usually centers around his ability to command all four of his pitches. I mean, he can get by with three if one isn't working, but it becomes a little tougher Leading to keep hitters four, guessing, after. especially when you start to get through the second and third time through the order. So we'll see how he incorporates all of his stuff into this one. That one hit to right. Holmes raging back towards the wall. And it's caught for the out. Batting second, the third baseman, Jonathan. Now it's the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Batting third, the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Hey, let's go, kid. Here we go. Battenfield picks over, and he's back in there. Next offering is in for a strike. Hey, come on now, one time, right here. Meet you right here, kid. Righty delivers, and one and two. At the belt and fires. And down on strikes. Now two out. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Top of the second. Bo Naylor at the plate now. Leading off for Akron. The catcher, Bo Naylor. That to right. Holmes settles underneath it. Makes the catch. And a quick out number one. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive That's it. Fifth. The right fielder will... Now, Aaron Bracho. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Brings it in, and that'll do it. Down to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing done. And now the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Now He's been such right a good hitter with runners in scoring Steven. position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. That one the other way. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. On to inning number four. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Base is empty with two away. And now the first baseman, number 13. Number 13. The wind of the pitch. Lifted in the air, right field. Holmes should have this one. And puts the squeeze on that. And that's the inning. Last half of the fifth coming up. And we still have no score. So two down. Now it's the right fielder, Steven Holmes. The, batter, the right fielder, Steven Holmes. Oh. All right, you got this. Let's go, let's go. And that's in there for strike one. Let's go, 
late with the swing there. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Five innings complete, and we still have no score. And now, Will Benson. Now batting, the right fielder, Will Benson. Left-hand batter waits. Hit in the air, right field. Holmes makes the grab. Two away down. Now batting, designated hitter. Aaron Bracho. So one out, nobody on. Here's the shortstop at the play. Jose Tena. A strikeout and a walk. Jose Tena. The one two. In the air, right field. Holmes moving under this one. He's got it. Two down. The batter, number 13. No outs, runner at first. And now the right fielder, the Stephen Holmes. The right fielder. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but I'm not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. And welcome back. We go to the ninth. And now the catcher comes up to him. Bo Naylor. The catcher. Bo Naylor. Three balls, two strikes, the count. Fly ball to right. One up, one down. Now batting, right fielder, Will Benson. Three to the final score from Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Shopey saying so long. Our final line score first for the victorious base off three runs on nine hits, two errors. They left 11 men on base for the rubber ducks. Two runs, six hits, no errors. They left 11 men on base. Time of the ball game two hours and 46 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon, and we remind you to please. Right home safely.
and welcome in everybody. Glad you're with us. Minor League Baseball from the AA level coming up. It's the Akron Rubber Ducks and the Bowie Bay Sox. And now, first pitch coming your way next. So just about set now. Our starter in this one, Cody Sedlock. Boog, eight solid innings his last time out. Picked up the win. See what he's got today. If he plays catch with his catcher the way he did, doesn't shake off, I think we'll see more of the same. Now it's the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. That is third. The right Part field. of the order coming through now, and with one home run already oh. in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take, gets ahead in the count. Let her fly, let her fly. Now the 0 1. Ground ball to the right side. Boots it. But the throw to first gets him easily, and that's the first out. Well, that was clearly a double play ball, but the bobble unfortunately four. prevented him from being able to get two. But a good Come job on. to stay with it and make sure you got at least one. Richie Palacios getting ready to hit. Now He's someone that you might not nine. describe as having elite Richie. level speed, but he can Palacios. absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. That one is absolutely belted back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. The right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Myers, back to work. And that one almost got him. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. And it's fouled away. The one two. Line drive makes the grab one down. Now batter, the second baseman. Welcome back, bottom of the seventh. Digging in, Stephen Holmes. Leading up for the base on the right fielder, Stephen Myers back to work. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Come on, man. Get your pitch up there. It's high and deep, way back there, on its way, gone! And a nice moment for him there, one he'll certainly remember, that's his first double-A home run. And trust me, getting that first long ball out of the way at any level comes as a nice relief, and not just for him, but for the organization as well. So I hope he ends up being a major part of the big league club for years to come. in this one you get to a certain point where 
each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these guys, it really came down to a few key at bats. This was a fun one to watch. Two nothing, your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chum. Thanks for joining us. Here now is our final line. For so many prospects, they come in and they have areas of their game that need significant work, whether it's contact, as you noted, or fielding, there's always something that can be tweaked and improved. What was the day that you realized, oh, there's something that I want to add, something that I need to really develop? Well, you want to develop everything. I'll give you my draft day. I got drafted um, and then I flew to Atlanta and I actually went out and worked with a, a Hall of Fame first baseman who used to be an outfielder for a couple hours, uh, Willie Stargell, and I don't know. And from that footwork, it carried me through my career. And most people know him as a first baseman, but, you know, he played outfield before that. So it was just uh, two hours of, I could say, torture, but, you know, 22 years of greatness. Post-draft workout with Pops, hard to beat that. Players addressed about a troubling trend in his plate performance of late. The coach advocates a more disciplined approach. Welcome, thanks for joining us. Some double-A baseball coming at you. It's the Bowie Bay Sox and the Richmond Flying Squirrels. First pitch coming your way next. All right, ready to go here and on the hill today, Ryan Murphy. Yeah, he was a tough luck loser last time out, dominating his opponent. Soft contact, they were able to score a couple of runs. But outside of that, everything was sharp. You hope that he gets a better result this time out. Reward the guy for his hard work. Now it's the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. All right, let's sit on something you like right here. First pitch, and he just misses. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. And it's one and one. One ball, one strike. Hey, come on, big guy, get your pitch. Come on, baby, square it up. Kick, Sandios. Swing and a miss. Ugly ball, swing right, right there. Yeah, let's go, kid. One time, right here. The pitch stays alive. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. The next pitch misses, and it's two and two. Big guy, what time? Here you go. Right hander kicks deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive.
righty to the plate. Off the outside edge with that one, and now it's filled up. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. One gone here. Well, he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because even though he strikes out, he saw a lot of pitches and he battled. And this is a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count up as early as possible. So gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see. Bottom of the first and stepping in is the speedy Michael Gigliotti. The center fielder. The line to kick the pitch. In the air, out towards right center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Batting second. No left fielder. So the batting order turns over. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Michael Gigliotti. He's 0 for 1. Gigliotti. Left-hand hitter waits. Out towards right center field. Home. Makes the catch, and there's one down. Now battle number 38. Runner on at first with one gone, and now the right fielder, Stephen Holmes, struck out swinging his first time. Swings through that one. 0 oh, and 1. Oh, your pitch, your pitch, huh? Let's go. The pitch. One time. And one there's the ball. Trimble over at first with one away. And that one in the air center field. Gigliotti racing over to make the catch. Now batter, second baseman, Jemai. Here's the left fielder, Diego Rincones. Now batter. This is important. Number if he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. In the air, right side. What a play in right field. And that is that. And welcome back. All set for the top of the six. Let's fly, let's now it's the right, right fielder, right Stephen right Holmes. Stephen. See it up. Oh. Drive it like you can. Let's go. Murphy back to work. Swing and a miss. Oh, it's 0 1. Hey, let her rip. Let her rip. Let's go. Swings and misses at the pitch okay. off the plate. Kicks and fires. Stays alive. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Man, it's scored position with two away. And now the right fielder, Steven Cole. Right right so, right so RBI Steven. spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. And first offering is fouled off. If I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. Hey, see, hey, drive it. Here we go. Two outs. No ball, two strikes. Hey, get your pitch up there. Let's go, kid. Hey, like you can up there, huh? Gonna count one and two. See how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us for the traditional Nevitic Stretch.
Diego Rincones now at the plate. Now batting. Number 38. One down, base is empty. High fly ball, right field. Holmes makes his way towards it and makes the grab. And there's two down. The right fielder, number 13. Franklin. Now it's the right fielder, Franklin Labour. He's hit for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. In the air, right field, Holmes under it. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll, and that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Guys start hitting up and down the lineup. You never know who's going to come up with the big hit, who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big outs, but it's a good feeling, and you want to extend it. A 7-5 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi saying so long. First for your victorious home team. Seven runs on ten hits. No errors. They left 16 men on base. For the base side, five runs, 13 hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 26 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Double-A Baseball on the show, coming your way. It's the Bowie Bay Sox and the Richmond Flying Squirrels. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. The seams of always got me through. The in your eyes, the only trust in So almost ready to get underway and getting the start. Seth Corey, what's the scouting report on him? Well, that 12 to 6 curveball explodes out of the hand and because he's able to throw the high fastball at the top of the strike zone for a strike, hitters commit to that pitch and before they know it, they're swinging over the top of that curveball. Steven Holmes takes one off the outside here. No score just getting started, top of the first. Let her rip. Here we go. Fouled off. He was late. The wind in the pitch. Swings through that. Definitely not going to make his highlight tape. The punch out there, and good work there as he gets a one, two, three. End of a half inning of play. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one, no score. Man at first with one gone. Next to hit, Tyler Fitzgerald. Seven. The second baseman, number seven. And the pitch. That one blasted deep to right. That's back there. And that one is off the wall. Run scores easily, and it's 1-0. And he'll pull into third with an RBI triple. Well, they strike first as he gets the job done to bring home the run. So close to blasting that one out of here the other way, but well, that's very tough to do when you take on the outfield gap like that. Beautiful swing, though. Let the ball get a little deep and drove it to the opposite field. So digging in, Steven right, let's go, Holmes. Let's go. Come on. His first at bat was a the strikeout. Bat. The right fielder. Steven. has got some good go. opposite you, field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. On a line out towards center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Runners tagging from second and third. In comes the runner from third. It's 
He was all over that fastball yeah, right there. I tell you what, the if he gets base. under it just by a Good fraction line. of an inch or a little bit more, yeah. back here at the ballpark, now it's going to be Tyler Fitzgerald. And leading off with a flying swirl, the second baseman, number seven. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Holmes puts it away, and there's one away. Now batting, the third baseman, David. And here is David VR. He popped out his first time. In the air, fairly deep to right field. And there's two down. The batter, the catcher, Patrick. Patrick Bailey will hit next. The switch go, hitter batting right. The 0-1. This one in the air right field. Holmes, as this one sized up, makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. And here is Stephen Holmes. He's 0 for 1. Now batting, right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Come on, baby, get your pitch up there. There we go. Pickoff move to first, and he's back in easily. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Number 56 leads off first with two down to the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. And now the lefty, and there's something you don't see very much in today's game, the pitch out. And here it comes. That one fouled off. Two and two. Come on, baby. See you time. And a pitch. That one missing inside. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so What's something that, in the right gap here? should definitely score it. Got him swinging, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Going, going, yeah, we in go mode. Going, going, yeah, we in go mode. So now here's the DH, Diego Rincones. Number 38. In the air, right field. Can't get there. Base hit. And it gets by him. The throw into second. To second, and he's safe. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Steven Holmes hey, digs in now. Now batting, the right fielder, Steven Holmes. Come on, kid, get on for us. Here we go. Hey, 90 feet anyway, kid. Here we go. Hey, see it, drive it. Let's go, big dog. Let her rip. 
Next pitch downstairs. And that's ball one. Looking to get the tying run on base. Just missed. They get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. He swings and fouls one off. The tying run at the plate. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. And fouled off. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And two away now. Unafraid to throw it right there. That's now trust battle. in your stuff. Just base. one out away from getting out of a huge jam. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes to another level. And you start to gain this momentum. And you think that you're never going to lose a game again because things are clicking up and down the lineup. Pitchers are pitching. Guys are making the plays defensively. This is the kind of feeling. It's not going to last all season long, but you want to ride it as long as you possibly can. Perhaps push it up to double digits. A 3-2 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Schum. We'll see you soon. No error. They left Aitman on base. For the base on, two runs, six hits, two errors. They left 12 men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 56 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely. This opportunity is once in a lifetime. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Minor League Baseball from the AA level coming up. It's the Bowie Bay Sox and the Richmond Flying Squirrels. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go. Today's starting pitcher, Mauricio Yovera. What's the word on him? Yeah, he battled through seven innings last time out. He pitched well enough to get the win thanks to that offense. He'll look to turn in another quality start in this one. Two outs, nobody on. And now the right fielder, the right Stephen field. Holmes. Steven. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field but he can jump you if you make a mistake pitch misses inside and that's ball one two down nobody on and the 1 0 misses low 2 0 count to a guy with this much pop at the dish better expect him to be turning on something it's going to either get hit hard to the pull side or the fans better look out in the stands this to third in plenty of time to first, and the inning is over. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one, no score. So up next, Diego Rincones. That is the designated hitter, number 38. And he deals. That to right, a little bloop single. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Just a cookie a down the middle. I mean, those the are the right ones field. you dream about. Ones right in the way. cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball no. game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Now it's the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. The batter, the right fielder, Stephen. Get your pitch driving right now. Yovera throws the first, no, he's and he's back in on a dive. Oh, 
in the dirt blocked well done behind the dish McKenna off of first with two away next offering is in for a strike here you go see it up let it fly Yeah, the right-hander deals. And there's a rocket into the outfield. And that's going to get into the corner. Right past his coach, headed for the plate. He'll score easily. And they take a two-run lead. And that's a double. you got to get on your horse and get to now that back. thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. Man at second here with two away. Here's the second baseman, Jemai Jones. Next pitch has popped up. Luciano drifts towards it and makes the play, and that's out number three. Bottom of the inning, and here's the first baseman, number 11. For the the flying squirrels, squirrels in striking distance, base. but have some work number to do. 11. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And that one is lifted in the air. Pulls it in for the out. Lefties can definitely be a little pull happy up there, especially with no pitches that they see 10. pretty well. That was Short a good stop. example. He hooked Short an outside throw. pitch, hit that ball in the air. Stephen Holmes, the next to hit. Now batting, the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Good eye in that spot. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Come on, big guy. One down, base is empty. That's through there for a strike. Hey, let it rip. One time. The one, two. Good eye right there. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two away. Chris, third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. At the play, Stephen Holmes. On, now batting, the right fielder. Steven. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Hey, see it, drive it. The pitch. Swing and a ground ball out to short. And that's the third out. Ladies and gentlemen. Really incredible performance on the mound. You know he's going to stew a little bit over that one hit that he gave up because when you look at the body of work, so dominant, if he'd have made just one better pitch, perhaps he'd have a no-hitter. A shutout in this one, 3-0, our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long. Here now is our final line score. First for the victorious base on. Three runs on eight hits. No errors. They left 11 men on base. For the home team, no runs, just one hit, one error. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 40 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely. Never hustle backwards, always fall. I can multitask, always on the ground. I can walk and shoot gun at the same time. I ain't on hiatus, I ain't missing an action. I'm the center of attention, the main attraction. When I enter the turf, when I pull up, people gather around me like an ice cream truck. People always ask me what I do for a league. I wear many hats, I'm something like 
and we welcome you to Green Valley Stadium. Some double-A baseball coming at you. It's the Bowie Bay Sox and the Richmond Flying Squirrels. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go. And our starting pitcher here today, Jorge Guzman. What do you have on him, Chris? Well, last time out, picked up the win. Didn't allow a run. Pitched extremely well. He doesn't have to be perfect, but if he can give another performance like last time out, his team will be happy. Steven Holmes getting ready to hit. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. That's towards center, Gigliotti. Sizing this one up. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. Batting four, the second baseman. Bottom of the first. Now here is Michael Gigliotti. And leading off for the flying squirrel, the center fielder. Mike Jones, Gigliotti. That one out to right. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. The throw in. In there safely. You've got to get on your horse and get to that thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. And now the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. Let's go. Give it a ride here. Let's go. Yeah, the first offering is not close. Straighten him up a little bit. Hey, you can do it. No one better. Let's go. Hey, let it rip one time. And the righty deals. He was late there. Strike one. There's the swing and a miss. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle two strikes. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. And that is that. Welcome back. And now, Jake Vossler. It's been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. The batter, number 10. Shortstop, Marco. Now it's the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. And Boog, I'd say he's now due. Batting. The right fielder, Stephen Holmes. All right, this is your pitch right here, right here. And first offering is fouled off. Swing and a miss, and he waves at that one. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Bannon over at second. Trimble at first, two out of the inning. The next offering misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Hey, let her 
Two on, two outs. And the one two misses to even the count. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. Hey, you get a good one up there, huh? Hey, wait for your pitch up there, huh? Here comes a pitch. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Michael Gigliotti. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Right side. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that is that. Stephen Holmes will hit next. Now batter. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach. He could bust this game wide open. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. See it, John, like you can. And the pitch. Morning, one. Your pitch right here, kid. Let's go. Hey, you can do it. No one back. Let's go. That misses. Two balls and a strike. Boog, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. Here we go, kid. Here we go. Looking for yours now. Come on, kid. Fouls one off. Two and two. Two outs. Bases are full. Your pitch gets wood on it. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there, and sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. And now here is... Franklin Labour, the right fielder. He's hit for 13. that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. Right-handed reliever. And that one is lifted in the air. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that will end the inning. So two down now. And here is Stephen Holmes. He struck out with the bases loaded his last time. Another opportunity with the sacks packed right here. All right, here we go. We need you here. We need you. Come on, let's get one. Your pitch right here. Your pitch. All right, your pitch coming right here, right now. All right, one pitch. Your pitch right here. Let's go. All right, you got this. Let's go. Let's go. Your turn. Drive him in right now. And first offering is fouled off. Westberg, the runner at third, Diaz at second, Trimble on at first with two down. In the air, center field, Luciano on the move. That is the inning. So they load the bases, but leave them stranded. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead, and we are tied 4-4. Close one here today, and your final 5-4. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. Here now is our final line score. First for your victorious home team. Five runs, 12 hits, one error. They left 18 runners on base. For the base odds, four runs on six hits.
one error and 13 runners left on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 39 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Double-A Baseball on the show, coming your way. It's the Bowie Bay Sox and the Richmond Flying Squirrels. First pitch coming your way next. All right, just about ready for baseball. And our pitcher in this game, Kirby Castro. What do you got on him, Chris? Really labored his last time out. Four plus innings, wasn't able to qualify for the win, but fortunately got a no decision and didn't take a loss. We'll see if he can get in the W column today. And now the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. That is third. The right fielder. Stephen Holmes. Gets under and pops it up. Arteaga makes the play. Two down. Batting four. The catcher, number 28, Brett. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the right fielder, Jairo Pomares. Batting seven. The right fielder, Jairo. Left hand batter waits. Fly ball to right. Drops in for a hit, couldn't run it down. Safely into second, he's got a double. So digging in, Stephen Holmes. Now batting, right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, one. One. I think he was sitting off speed there. 0-1 oh, now. Swings through that one. Clearly all in on the fastball right there, but it was a changeup. Bottom just fell out of it. He's going to have to make an adjustment. The 0-2. Wouldn't chase that time. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Hey, get your pitch up there, kid. Let's go now. Next one just misses. Yeah, one and the count is two and two. Hey, get your pitch and drive Kicks right and here. deals. Right through there. Got him. Third out, and that ends the frame. As we go to the last of the third. And now the first baseman, and number 11. For the flying squirrel. The well, he's back baseman. out here for the third. And number after 11. the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper is looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. And there's one down. Now that the third baseman, Jason. One out, base is empty. Stepping in, Ricardo Henovic. The batter, the catcher, Ricardo The wind of the pitch. In the air, right field, Holmes. Under it, makes the grab, and there's two gone. The batter, number eight, shortstop, Everson. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now the batter now, Michael Gigliotti. And leading off for the Flying Squirrel, the center fielder, Michael Gigliotti. Well struck right field. This one's got a chance. It bangs off the wall. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Now at the plate, number 11. The 
the 0 1. High fly ball, right field. Holmes moving under it. And that is that. And now the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Now batting. Now these the guys right definitely fielders. looking for a big Steve swing Ray. of the bat right here. Try to oh. close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really... Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Swing oh. and a miss. Throw to second. Save! Next offering upstairs. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. The 1 1. And a swing and a miss. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next offering misses. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes. All right, come on now. One time. Let it fly. And now it's filled up. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Rincones pulls it down. Runner tags it second. Not in time. He's safe. The catcher, number 28. Now it's the second baseman, Tyler Fitzgerald. The batter, number seven. In the air, right side. Holmes has a beat on it. Puts the squeeze on it. Runner tags up for third, and he makes it up to third with one away. Now batting, right fielder. Jake Vossler digs in now. The batter, the third baseman, Jason Vossler. In the air, right field, Holmes drifts towards it, and that is that. Two on with one out. Now it's the right okay, fielder, Stephen Holmes, right fielder. for the fourth time tonight. Oh. All right, your pitch right here, right now. Let's go. On the ground, two ball. Off balance feet. There's one. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. A season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year to see your team win at home there's just something special about that good job by these guys to get it done for the hometown fans 6-1 is your final here today for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB the show I'm John Chomby saying so long here now is our final line school first for your big It's a simple question, do you got it or not? I've been talking to God about the garages for the crib that I still have on by boat, rocking my thoughts, going too fast and irrational. I need the 42 under. Joe, during a season, you're going to see your fair share of struggles at the plate at some point or another. How do you work yourself out of it? How do you use the count to set yourself up in a favorable situation? Well, it, it's tough times when it goes like this, but uh, it happens and um, it happens to the best of us. But uh, it's one is staying positive. And um, trying to work back into hitters counts, you know, trying to get to two and oh, three and one or three and oh. And um, hopefully then, you know, the pitchers don't want to fall behind in the count. So they're going to come with right. probably the pitch with their best command, uh, which is usually a fastball. So hopefully you can get a fastball there and, and don't miss it. At some point, just about every prospect goes through a tough phase. Your bat goes cold. You can't find your feel on the mound. Just nothing feels right. 
Sean Casey joins me today. Case, what is it like as a prospect in the minor leagues to go through struggles like that? It's tough. It's tough because when you get to the minors, you really probably haven't struggled. You know, you haven't faced this kind of kind of kind of competition, so you really haven't struggled huge. I, I know for me, when I first got into pro ball, I was a second round pick of the Indians. I had just led the country in hitting at University of Richmond, 461. I was the best hitter in the country. I get to the minor leagues. One of my hitting coaches is like, hey, listen, let's change your stance a little bit. Let's let's lower you down, get in your legs. And I'm like, oh, this guy must know what he's talking about. He's a professional coach. I struggle so bad for two weeks. I'm hitting 140. I'm like, oh, my gosh, I'm going to get released. Remember, Joel Skinner comes up to me, my manager, and he says, you know what, Case? He goes, you're a great hitter. That's why they took you in the second round. Tonight, I want you to start hitting your way. So that night, I got taller. I started hitting. I ended up winning the batting title that year. The point was failures, uh, the struggle, all that stuff, anxiety is built into baseball. You, as, a, as an individual player, have to learn how to talk to yourself mentally, know yourself as a hitter or as a pitcher, and believe in yourself. That's what's going to get you to the next level. Joe, during the season, you're going to see your fair share of struggles at the plate at some point or another. How do you work yourself out of it? How do you use the count to set yourself up in a favorable situation? Well, it, it's tough times when it goes like this, but uh, it happens and um, it happens to the best of us. But uh, it's one is staying positive and um, trying to work back into hitters counts, you know, trying to get to two and oh, three and one or three and oh, and um, hopefully then, you know, the pitchers don't want to fall behind in the count. So they're going to come with right. probably the pitch with their best command, uh, which is usually a fastball. So hopefully you can get a fastball there and, and don't miss it. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Minor League Baseball from the AA level coming up. It's the Bowie Bay Sox and the Richmond Flying Squirrels. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. First pitch coming your way next. Flying Squirrel. So almost ready to get underway and towing the slab, Mauricio Yovera. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Stephen right Holmes will Steven. hit next. Oh. And first offering is fouled off. Number 56 over at second. Number 17 at first with no outs. And a foul ball. That one drilled left field, just inside the line, and it's down for a knock. And that's going to get into the corner. One run is in. Trimble headed for the plate. Artiaga with a relay throw, but it's offline, and they lead by two. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. Ripped that one down the line and kept it fair. And even when you hit it that far out front, you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory. And that right there was perfect. Now it's the second baseman, Jemai Jones. Didn't play in the day game yesterday, so he should be fresh for this one. And a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And there's one down. Well, they didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him look it, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Man at second with one away. Number 12 now at the plate. Right 
Yovera checks the runner. And they put the tag on him for the out. One gone runner at first. Next to hit, Jalen Davis. Batting third, the designated hitter, Jalen Davis. Lined into right, base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Batting fourth. Digging in, Alex Blandino. The batter, the second baseman. Alex Blantino. High fly ball, right field. Holmes under it. And puts the squeeze on that. Runner tagging for third. Now that is. Number 38. At the play, Stephen Holmes. Come on, right here, one time, one time. The batter's got some good the opposite right field power. Steve what I like there. about something being oh. hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Trimble at second with nobody out. Fouled off. He was late. Come on. Let it fly right here. Let's go. All right. Let's win. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one away. Oh, it can be so tough as a hitter to pull yourself out of an extended slump, one that lasts for several games, even a week or more. You know, right now, he's really in one, so I'm sure his mind is all over the place. Base is empty, one away. And now the right fielder, Stephen Holmes, one for two. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Line to left. And he pulls up on it, and that's a hit. Now batter. Here's Jemai Jones. He's 0 for 1. Come on, big guy. Still pick. only one out here in the inning. Right. Swing and a bouncer. Bossler. Off balance feed, there's one, but no throw to first as he'll hold on to it. Tough play right the there. Batter. Didn't really have enough Number time to 12. set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. And welcome back. Now it's the right fielder, on, Stephen right Holmes. For Bowie, the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Here you go, baby. Find a good pitch. Get out of here, Ben <laughs> And a pitch. Swings and misses. And that's strike one. Righty to the plate. And a big swing and a miss. That's one of those swing now before the pitchers even let go of the baseball. Hey, come on, big dog. Get your pitch. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And there's one down. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. And now the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. This is what stat nerds like myself right might field. call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Poog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. 
You know, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. Oh, and now a wild pitch. Well done behind the dish. Next offering way off the plate. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0 2 count. He just tried to overthrow that pitch. Here's a 1 2. And there's a foul ball. Hey, have a rip up there right now, huh? He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. First and second here, no outs. Hey, wait for your pitch right there, huh? Hey, your turn driving me. Punch up, kid. The pitch. Good eye in that spot. That's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Got it! One away. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Welcome back. Here's the third baseman, Jake Vossler. And the one one for the blind squirrel. That one blasted deep to right. That's Great back. And it's off the wall. And that's a leadoff double. Two hits for him in this one. Both were extra bases. Got to feel good about that. That pretty much split the zone down the middle. And those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Here's the center fielder, Tyro Pomares, for the fourth time tonight. VR stands at second with no outs. Right side, Holmes ranging back. Oh, he can't bring it in. And now it rolls all the way to the wall. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. Start of the new month is a great chance to hit the reset button. Whether you're coming in hot or cold, getting that win today is a great feeling to continue through the rest of the month. 9-6 the final in this one for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chum. Thanks for joining us. Here now is our final line score. First for your victorious home team. Nine runs on ten hits. One error. They
Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Some double-A baseball coming at you. It's the Harrisburg Senators and the Bowie Bay Sox. And now, all right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Bay Sox. All right, first pitch coming up, showing the slab in today's game, Kevin Smith. A really good outing for him last time. Scattered two runs, was attacking hitters, getting ahead in the count. Great performance. We'll see if he can do it again in this one. Now it's the right fielder, that Steven Holmes. The right fielder. So RBI Steve spot, there. but Chris, this is a guy that is oh. not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. Swings oh, through that one. 0-1. Oh, and one. And there's a ball. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Get your pitch up there. Let's go, kid. The other way. And there's a hit. And they'll score first. It's one zip. Runner stops at third, and they're at the corners with nobody out. Well, they strike first as he gets the job done to bring home the run. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Here's Jemai Jones. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Next offering upstairs. This might be the most pressure you put on this guy today. You got one run in. You got to try to get another one or maybe two. Runners on the corners. No outs. Hey, get a good one. Next offering is down low. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Let her fly, kid. Let her fly. Next offering finds the zone of the count is full. Great spot to be in right here for the pitcher. You can either strike this guy out or get a ground ball double play. The pitch. Got him. One out. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. One away, runners at first and third. Now at the plate, number 12. And down on strikes, two out. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting a call. He that probably should have got, didn't let it affect his focus, and he came back with another good pitch Number to get him swing. And now the catcher comes up to him, Brett Cumberland. Trimble at third, Holmes at first, two out of the inning. Pitch. Make it happen right now, huh, kid? Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Mitch Longo getting ready to hit. Put that 600 slugging that into context. The league the average league. usually in the low 400s. Left hand hitter waits. That one out to right. Holmes makes the catch, and that'll do it. Stephen Holmes, the next to hit. Now batting. The right fielder. Stephen. Oh. 
And that's in there for strike one. See it, drive it, let's go, kid. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. Not a swing you want to watch again. Hey, like you can up there, huh? Oh, and two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now one away. Well, Boog, it becomes pretty difficult as a teammate when a guy's struggling like now this. Back. You don't know Second if you want to go up and tell him to keep swinging it or if you want to give him his space, what exactly he needs. But right now, and now Stephen Holmes. Now one for two. Right he had an RBI base Steven. hit back in the first. Oh. Here we go. And that one fouled off. Trimble on at first. Nobody out. Check on the runner. Trimble back in on a dive. Oh, baby, see you driving. Right hander kicks deals. Ripped, but it curls foul with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. And there's one down. Oh, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, some of the pitch you're hoping Second for, three. a bit of a mistake, Come and on. I'd say in a very hittable location, Come but on. clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Nick Banks will hit next. The left fielder, number two, Nick Banks. And here it comes. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. Third home run of the season, and they add a pair. It's 3-1. Singy, the ball is jumping off his back. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. That slider on the outside part of the plate is typically hit the other way, but to be able to get to it, pull the baseball, and get it up in the air for a home run, I'm just really impressed. So first and second with two outs. Now the number two hitter, Adrian number Sanchez. Number One second for three. Adrian Sanchez. Right-handed reliever. And that one is lifted in the air. Holmes settles underneath it, and he makes the catch. And that's the third out. And now the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Now back, the right fielder. Oh. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Ball one there. Hey, doubled up on the off speed there. We talk about the power fastball, but he's working a little differently here. Next pitch misses. Now two balls and a strike. They get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Next offering is down low. Three and two now. One down, base is empty. The punch out there, and there are two down. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout. This one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate.
In the air, right field, Holmes settles underneath it, puts it away for the out. Now batting, the first baseman, Drew. So they're down to their final out. And yeah, the batter now, Steve.
Even Cole. Right shield. Steven. Cole. Here we go. Let it fly here. Let it fly. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Everyone here understands just how quickly things could change. Two-run game, a two away here in the bottom of the ninth. Little trouble with this one behind the plate. But no advance from the runners. Yeah, but Riff's like you can. Here you go. Come on, big guy. Drive in those runs. Hey, you're driving me. No one better right here. So now with one swing, this guy could end it. Out towards left center. Keller on a dead sprint, racing back. And that'll do it. 3-1 ball game, quick game. We were looking for a little bit more. It seemed at points the offenses were going to break out, but a total of four runs combined. Really good pitching and defense on both sides. Just a couple of key swings making all the difference. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shami. We'll see you soon. First for the Victoria Senators, three runs on seven hits. No errors. They left 14 men on base. For the Bay Sox, one run on 12 hits, one error. They left 18 runners on base. Time of the ball game: two hours and 36 minutes. We welcome you inside Oak Street Park. Double A baseball on the show, coming your way. It's the Harrisburg Senators and the Bowie Bay Sox. First pitch coming your way next. And now, your Bowie Bay Sox. So just about set now, and today's starter, Drew Rom. So dominant in his last start, double-digit strikeouts. It's going to be interesting today to see if he's able to have command of his secondary pitches the way he did last time out. Base is empty with two away. Stephen Holmes Batting digs in now. The right field. He's got pop, Steven. which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. First pitch, not close. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Kicks and deals. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. The second baseman. Here's Jemai Jones. The pitch. Get down, Get On a down. line, base hit. So that's two straight, two out hits. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Person. Solid swing from Number start 12. to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And now, number 12. The two on. On the ground, right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Through an inning, no score here on the show. Here's Drew Mendoza. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. That one hit to right. Holmes on the move as he glides back. Can't get their base hit. Coming home. One run in. Here comes another. Now two runs are in. Here comes the third. And he's got a two-run triple. Gets the job done as he brings the home bat. a pair. Number he nine. hit that ball really well to deep right Great field man. right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but you're always happy with it. 
Now it's the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Now batting, right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real and quick inning, get those guys here, back now. into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. The wind of the pitch. Got him looking. That's out number two. No, I can't argue with that one. Stepping in, Stephen Holmes. One for two. The right fielder, Stephen. First offering misses badly for ball one. If he can get through this one, put up a zero, this will help in his outings to come. Bannon, the runner at third. Trimble on at first with two down. Next offering is downstairs. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Hey, nice and patient. Get yards. And a swing and a miss. Hey, kids, see it. Drive it like you can. Let's go. Way inside, gets out of the way. Here we go. And that's ball four. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. The second baseman. Two outs, bases full. Here's the second baseman, Jemai Jones. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. Now he breaks his bat. On to first, and that is the inning. So they load the bases, but leave them stranded. New inning getting started. Now it's the DH, Mitch Longo. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Holmes has this one sized up and out number one on the grab. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Joey Manessa. Two outs with a man at third. And now the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Now that right and Boog, I'd say he's due. Steven. Oh. Next pitch downstairs. Oh, One and oh. All right, come on now. One time. Let it fly, buddy. Swings through that one for strike one. Bannon at third with two away. Come on, big guy. Get your pinch, huh? Lifted in the air, right field. Brings it in for the third out. First and second, two outs. Drew Mendoza getting ready to hit. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. And that one is lifted in the air. Holmes makes the grab, and that is the inning. Number 45.
Five. The next to hit. Number 45. The tying run at the plate. Hit in the air, right field. Holmes settles under it, and that'll do it. Well, Bert, four games isn't too long of a losing streak, but they're definitely happy to be back in the win column. Now you can turn things around, get on the right track, and probably start a winning streak from here. A 3-2 final score in this one. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. Here now is our final line score. First for the victorious face -off. Three runs, 12 hits, no errors. They left 12 men on base. For the Senators, two runs, six hits, one error, and 11 runners left on base. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Minor League Baseball from the AA level coming up. It's the Harrisburg Senators and the Bowie Bay Sox. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. Just about set. Our starter in this one, Mike Bauman. Well, he's been giving up a lot of hard contact this season. I mean, coming in, guys are hitting comfortably in the high 200s. So many times there's some bad luck, but then also there's just a little miss here or a little miss there that changes the outcome of the at-bat. We'll see if he can be consistent and make adjustments quickly in this room. One down, base is empty. In the air, right side. Could be extra bases. Around first, digging for two. And it kicks off the base of the wall. Around second now, as they still don't have it. Now around third, waving him home. He scores, and it's 1-0. Well, they call it one of the most exciting plays in baseball for a reason, Boog. Always fun to see an inside the parker. Man, he was flying out of the box. And I think that by the time he was getting a second, he had it in his mind to go all the way. That's just great hustle from start to finish. Steven Holmes will hit next. Kind of a throwback. Third. No batting right gloves. Steven Holmes. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. The wind and the pitch. Nope. That's down and in. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Definitely not going to make his highlight tape. Hey, let's go now one time. Swings and misses, and good work there as he gets a one, two, three. And now the center fielder, Cole Freeman. He's already now homered here in this one. The center fielder. Number 76 on third. Number six on second. Number 14 at first. Two out of the inning. This one in the air right field. Holmes sizing this one up. Snags it on the run. That is the inning. First and second. One out. Next is the designated hitter. Mitch Longo. Singled and scored his first time. Longo. The pitch. Fly ball to right. Holmes gets there. He's under it. Makes the grab. And there's two away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive now it. Now batting. The right fielder. Joey. Now it's the right fielder. Steven Holmes. Struck out swinging his first time. The right fielder. Steven. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out on that double play. 
0-2 as he waves yeah, at Owen. that one. Real ugly 0-1 swing right there as a pitcher. Got to be hunting for that strikeout. Come Keep on, him off dog. balance. Send him back to the dugout. Next pitch misses outside. Going to count one and two. Good eye right there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Two two now. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Well, a breaking ball in that 3 2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Here's Jemai Jones. a swing and a miss and there's one down well he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before felt like he should have had him looking I think but Number you know that's good 12. composure right there he found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss so digging in number 12 And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Well, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Now Two back. strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for, hitter. a bit of a mistake, Huge and down. I'd say in a very hittable location, yeah. but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Use the LT as now, and he's already singled in this game. Next offering popped in the air, right field, and that is that. Stephen Holmes now at the plate. Now batting right fielder. Stephen Holmes. Next nope. offering is down low. Ball one. And hey, here we go. You got this. There's a strike. All right, one time, right here. Next one in the dirt. Hey, have a good rip up there, huh? And a pitch. That misses the zone, and a count is three and one. There's a strike. Down to three and two. And down on strikes he goes, two away. No, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be now a ball ball or anything. I just think he was flat Come out on. frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Here's the center fielder, Cole Freeman. He's already homered in this game. Only two now. In the air, right field, Holmes. Got a dead run to his left. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. As a run scores on the play. He puts a great swing on that pitch and drives home the run. And that was always going to be a double, but the bounce over the wall just took the guesswork out of it right away. It was a nice. Here's Drew Mendoza. Two down, two down. Kicks and fires. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Holmes puts the squeeze on that one, and that is that. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. All tied up at three apiece. And now the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. A strikeout and a walk. The right fielder, Stephen Holmes. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Hey, come on, big dog. And the righty deals. Now this is in the air down the line. Racing makes the catch. 
and the inning is over. This one pretty well decided at this point. Back here at the ballpark, now it's going to be Drew Millis. Leading off for Harrisburg, the catcher, Drew Millis. A one down. That one out to right. Holmes under this one. Makes the catch. And a quick out number one. Now batting. Number six. Now it's the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Now batting. The right fielder, Stephen Holmes. All right, you got this. Let's go. Let's go. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. And the pitch. Out to short. House handles the chance. Ball game. That was pretty close one until that huge seventh inning really turned things around. The bats just caught on fire, and it seemed like nobody could make it out. Put a lot of runs up, and that propelled them to the win. 13-3, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chompy saying so long. Time of the ball game. Four hours exactly. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely. Like a trampoline, glass shake when I roll past the scene. Candy apple paint dripping classic green. Everybody eating, you can ask the team. Fast and mean, speakers bumping, tags is clean. Keep me something on that. The popo bass hit like an earthquake. Just hold on, I hit the block and roll on. Got like two 18s. Our favorite two short song is in those jeans. Shake it, baby, if you like this song. Do it, dance every time they turn it on. It's got. Baseball, she down on it. I gotta give her what she want. Turn it up loud and let that bump. Everybody love the fun, bump, stomping in the trunk. You in the back seat, wishing you was in the front. She said something, asked me if I heard. I can't hear one.
Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Some double-A baseball coming at you. It's the Harrisburg Senators and the Bowie Bay Sox. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. Today's starting pitcher, Cody Sedlock. Chris, how about a scouting report? Well, he tried to make it through the fifth inning last time out, but the pitch count just got too high. He ended up taking the loss. That's one of those you just have to shake it off, come back out today, and try to throw a gym. Stephen Holmes swings through one there. In the on-deck circle, you really want to use that opportunity to see some pitches and time up the fastball. Last thing you want to do is miss a good, hittable fastball early in the count. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. Next offering down in the dirt. Two outs. Two balls, oh, two strikes to count with two outs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And the 2-2. Two -two. Off the outside edge with that one, and now it's filled up. Swing and a base hit. Hey, nice rip out of boy. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. That's a good sound cool. coming off the bat, man. The and as he connected base. out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Here's Jemai Jones. First pitch, just misses. Hey, let her rip one time. Hey, see right into the plate. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take hey, your walk here. Drive the other way. Let's go, big dog. Now move to first. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. But inning in the books, no score here on the show. Now, Adrian Sanchez. Now batting, the second baseman. Nobody Adrian. out, runner at first. Come on now, here we go, guys. In the air, right field, Holmes. Going back, back some more. Nice grab on the run. One away. Now batter, number 45. Two on, one out. And now, Stephen Holmes. Now batting. Right Definitely field. wants to stay out of the double Stephen. play here. Ball on the ground in the oh. infield should be an inning-ending double play. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. And the first offering is not close. Good miss with that changeup away. He needs a ball on the ground for a double play. Minimize the potential threat right here. On the hitter's side, nice job of laying off that pitch. 
On the ground, two ball. Off balance feed, there's one. And that's two. Got the batter to hit it exactly where he wanted. That textbook 6-4-3 double play gets out of the jam, back in the dugout. And welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth, and now it's going to be Jackson Clough. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And no one can get there. Now he turns and heads for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. Passes third. He wants it all. He scores and they have the lead. It's two to one. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. Adrian Sanchez getting ready to yeah, hit. Got two, two down. Oh, and two now. High in the air, out to right. Holmes gets under it, pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And that is that. And now the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Now batting the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. Right guy, right spot. Come on now, kid. That one the other way. He's got it. And that is out number three. We're through five. We are tied 2-2. Two -two. All set for the top of the sixth. Now the third baseman, number 45. Hang on for Harrisburg. The third baseman, number 45. And he deals. Now a pop-up on the infield. He's got it. And there's one down. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Singy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but... And the batter will be the shortstop, number six. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else... Oh, this ball's down, and that could bring in a run. Throw comes in quickly, holds that go-ahead run at third, and there's still one away. He put a great swing on that ball, 40. took the barrel right Second to it. Base. Nice extension Adrian. as well. 105 Central. exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. Now a huge... And now number 45. down the line could be extra bases one runs in two runs across now and they clear the bases three runs score and they're up by three how about that clears the bases good pitch slider down and away just stayed down and threw it nicely such an easy pitch to pull off of because you're probably thinking fastball down the middle initially Number 22 digs in now. Now batting, right fielder, Joey Meneso. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. That's back there. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. Long go around third. One run across, and he'll pull into third with an RBI triple. Well done. Drives in the run. Put a pretty good now jolt that, into that one. Great field. swing. Nice balance and weight transfer. Oh. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Now it's the right fielder, Stephen Holmes. One now for three. The right fielder, Stephen Holmes. 
Swings through that one. 0 and 1. The baseball is coming out of his hand very well. He's been able to paint all four corners, but really good ride at the top of the zone. Hitters have to respect that. Very difficult pitch to hit. Righty delivers. Got him. And now two gone. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, sometimes road trips can be tough. You're away from your family, but when you can win, silence that opposing crowd. It makes things just a little bit better. It makes the road trip just a little bit shorter. And your final, 6-2 to two for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chum. Thanks for joining us. Our final line score. Yeah, all right, my flow sinister. This ain't rap music, this straight literature. Small minded, all your ideas miniature. They tend to well, it hasn't been all roses for him lately. He's been scuffling a little bit, and sometimes that light at the end of the tunnel can seem pretty darn dim. Jim Callis of MLB Pipeline is with me. Jim, there are so many players who struggle.